beautiful gray morning. Welcome to Well. And today's topic, we're going to talk a little bit about something that affects every single solitary one of us. And that is there are 8,760 hours in an average year. How will you use yours? How will you use yours? You know, this is a topic that's rarely talked about but it affects every one of us. It affects me, it affects you, it affects all those that I deal with on a daily basis. You know, and, and you know, I think as part of the, you know, you know, the self-mastery, growth, you know, maturing, you know, getting older, adulting, whatever it is that, you know, you consider this, this thing we call the process of life and living it, you know, we have to ask ourselves, you know, you know, there are 8,760 hours in the average year. You know, now how am I going to use, you know, mine? You know, we all, that's, this is one thing that we all share. You know, if you're alive, you are part of having this the same amount of time, but we don't have the same, you know, uses of the time. So say, say to yourself, well, okay, you know, how am I going to use my time this year? You know, I know a lot of folks, you know, myself, I'm going to use myself as an example, you know. For a long time, for a long time, I've struggled with this time management piece. And and I would love to say that, it's, you know, there's an easy, you know, quick fix, but it's not. You know, I go back, you know, 21 years ago, as I sat in a in a in a in a meeting, it was it was a an evaluation that was being done. And it was, you know, a group and I sat in front of the group and, you know, I was working, you know, almost seven days a week, you know you know, 20 hours a day, you know, just really, you know, giving it my all. And so in my mind, you know, as far as I knew, I was, you know, above and beyond, above and beyond, above and beyond. But as I sat there in the evaluation, you know, and, you know, in this room surrounded by, you know, other adults, and they looked at me and they, 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 you know, you know, were critical. (laughs) They were critical. They were critical about, you know, what, you know, what was I doing, you know, with my time? How was I managing my time? How was I, you know, getting the most out of, you know, the thing that I was doing, you know, when I was, you know, bringing my best effort and everything. And here's the thing. It wasn't a criticism about, about my actual job performance, which was interesting, you know, and it took me a long time to understand this. It wasn't a criticism about my, about my job performance. It wasn't a, you know, a criticism about, okay, this is the task. This is the job. Is it being done? It was it was meant to challenge me and to look at things, you know, about me and my growth that I could work on. Now, me being a person that, you know, you have to say that to me specifically and then we can cut through a lot of the red tape. But that's just how my mind works. That didn't happen. But what? (laughs) so what I heard was what I'm not doing, I'm not using my time right, you know. And so my, my, my initial retort was to defend myself and say, oh, you know, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this. You know, a man looked at me straight face and said, you know, I travel from here to here. You know, I don't even live here. You know, my work is here and I have to spend this much time. It's time management. Your issue is time management. And I'm like, oh, he just crushed all of my excuses. So <laughs> I was like, oh, like, oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So I no longer had the excuse of, well, I'm, I don't even get to see my family. I'm not even doing it. Okay. He crushed all of that. You know, he crushed all of that. And that made me think though. It made me think. And so I say this to say, you know, and then, you know, went through a whole, you know, a lot of processes. And one thing I can say though, you know, there was, you know, training done and there was, you know, you know, at the time there was, there was a lot of investment going into, 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 you know, personal development and training and coaching and, you know, really, you know, um, you know, co- some companies were, were, you know, investing in and in, um, in bettering their, their people, you know, as much as they could. But fast forward to the day. And now we're in a time when you have to individually manage yourself. You have to individually, you know, cultivate and create your own personal development. You have to individual. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. But here's the thing, though. We all have the same amount of time. We all have the same amount of time. What we're doing with it, not the same. You know, 
lifestyle choices, you know, we, you know, we decide, you know, we want this much of this cake and it takes this much to get this much of this cake or, you know, this much of the cake is enough or, you know, whatever, you know, every one of us has a, has a different, you know, time usage. And now we're in a time now where technology has really, really flattened and leveled out everything that we used to do when it came to time usage. So now we have technology at our disposal. So in, in, in a lot of the aspects where it should increase the amount of things that we can get done in a limited amount of time, you know, a lot of people are still struggling and we'll have that for, you know, later, um, later discussions, um, on people's struggles with technology, but you know, the, the, we all have the same amount of time. You know, we all have the same amount of time to use, you know, 8,760 hours in an average year. Obviously, on the leap year, you have 24 more hours, but we're just going to stay with the average year. But that's the same amount of time. Now, when, when we look at, OK, and say, well, you know, this is, you know, the amount of time I have. This is the amount of time that you have. Are we in community? If we're in community, we're going to share a lot of that time. How are we going to use it? What's the best way for us to use this amount of time? You know, individually, what's the best way for me to use this amount of time to grow myself, to educate myself, whether, you know, I'm listening to podcasts, whether I'm reading books, whether I'm reading articles, whether I'm, you know, upskilling, whether I'm reskilling, whether I'm taking some time to deconstruct what it is that I that I believe and that I understand and why I believe it and understand it. You know, there's a lot of different things that, that, that we can do and that we are doing. One thing that's disturbing me though, and this is why I'm making this today, is a lot of folks, unfortunately, are literally wasting a lot of their time. They're not doing beneficial things. They go and they punch in on the clock or whatever, and they, they, they donate that amount of time to a place for a percentage of, 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 of money that's not commiserate with the actual value of productive time, depending upon how you use it, you know, to each his own. And then when they get done with that, they do nothing else productive for the rest of the day, the rest of the time, and for n- nobody else. Now, that's very destructive internally you know, to us individually. And it's, and it's destructive to us, you know, communally, you know, in our community, because what's happening is we're utilizing all of our, you know, 24 hours, you know, for the sake of this few hours. And we're not being productive. We're not maximizing our productivity, you know. So we're actually taking more out than we're putting in, you know, communally, than, than, than we even realize because, but here's the thing. It's a programming thing. We were programmed, you know, years ago, we were programmed. You go to get this job and you, you know, you show up and then that's what you do and you don't make no waves and you do what they tell you to do. And then you can, you know, have a life. Well, here's the reality, obviously. And this is before the past few years, people were unaware, but obviously that doesn't keep up. That doesn't even track. I mean, Case in point, you know, a person with an average, regular, simple job cannot afford to take care of themselves, let alone a house and a family on a, on, on that on that one single, you know, um, that one single um, um, job and that one single you know source of income. So there has to be multiple sources of income. You know, but that person uses all their energy and all of, all of their bandwidth, all of their, you know, they're drained from this one source. So they can't, you know, even think about, OK, creating multiple sources. Well, this is an issue. This is an issue. You know, so this is a lot of the imbalances that are created because we're not we're not understanding time for one. And we're definitely not using time efficiently and, produ- you know, and productively. And this is the issue that's across the board. You know, and I say, well, you know, there's none of us that have this, you know, all totally figured out. But here's the thing. As you climb higher on the economic ladder, one of the things that people don't understand, people on the higher end of the economic ladder, completely and totally, their time is the most important thing, period. Their time is why they do what they do so they can control their time. It's about time because you don't get time back. That's the whole thing. 
Every day, every year, you've lost a day. You've lost a year. You don't get that back. You might remember. You might have great memories, but you don't ever get that time back. So time is the most important thing. And that's what you got to understand. You know, and, and, and here's the thing. And when we talk about value of time, all, you know, everyone's time is not as valuable as the other person's time. It just isn't. It just isn't. So we have to understand, you know, when it comes to you know time and dealing with and respecting other people's times, you know, we have to understand, you know, OK, there are certain levels of this thing that we call society that require a certain amount of time. And, you know, we need to respect, OK, other people's time, you know, OK, this person, you know, has, you know, this they have to do. They have this they have to do. I have this I have to do. OK, I need them to respect my time. You know, I'm going to respect their time. I need them to respect my time. We have a serious time uh, misuse issue happening right now. People are not respecting time. They're making appointments. They're not keeping them. Here's the thing. That's not professional for one. But the other side of it is it's a complete misuse of someone else's time. You know, if you make an appointment with somebody, you know, and you don't keep it because you choose not to keep it. That means you totally devalued their time. And if they if they set that time aside, they could have been doing something else. Well, you've just not only disrespected their time, but you've misused their time, which is highly disrespectful. You know, so here's the thing. Your time, you want it to be treated very preciously. You want people to respect your time. Well, you have to respect other people's time as well. And so we because we all have the same amount of time. But what's happening is a lot of people are jamming. And this started to happen over the past few years. They're jamming, you know, they'll, you know, they'll basically sign up for 10 things in a day knowing they can only do two. And they do this so that they don't miss out an opportunity, you know, or, you know, FOMO, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know fear of, of missing out. You know, this, this FOMO culture is very destructive because it's ruining credibility. It's ruining credibility. And I'm going to tell you, credibility is something <laughs> that you can't afford to lose a lot of credibility, you know, period, you know, but how you use other people's time and how you use your time, you know, is going to speak a great deal to your credibility. You know, unfortunately, over the past few years, unfortunately, I've seen, you know, a lot of people waste a lot of people's time. I mean, I, and, and that's very unfortunate. You know, but at the same time, I've seen a lot of people, you know, take their time more serious and say, hey, OK, I'm not going to allow my time to be, you know, be, to be monopolized by by, you know, situations and people and entities that don't respect my time. So I'm going to go do this and I'm going to use my time for doing this. And as I see people starting to master their time better, I see them starting to progress and I see them being more productive and so forth. So this is not a, this is this is a, I'm trying, you know, you know, say, well, I, I need people to become aware of the uses of time, you know, the, the, you know, aware of how much time that we have and aware of the fact that tomorrow is definitely not promised to any of us. You know, this could be the last day for a lot of people today is the last day that they have on earth. That's, you know, in the, in, 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 in the spiritual form, you know, that this is the last day they're going to be alive. You know, no man know at the time or the day, you know what I'm saying? This is the last day for a lot of people in the world. And so you have to say to yourself, you know, OK, how am I going to use my time? You know, I look, I reflect on myself. I use myself an example again on a daily basis, you know, how I use my time. And a lot of time I go and I go far and I deal with a lot of people and I, and I go, you know, and, and, and I, you know, fulfill obligations that I make. And then I try to, you know, also bring as much value as I can everywhere I go. And I and I do for the most part. So I thank God for that. But the reality of it is when I get back to the you know end of the day and I look back and I'm like, wow, OK, you know, my particular movements are just not normal. I have to understand that I have to be aware of that. So I can't hold you to my movement patterns. I can't hold anybody else to. OK, James, well, you know, you went here, you did this, you did that, you know, brought this over here, you put that over there, you helped out here, you did this. Over there. I don't hold anybody else to that. But here's the thing. What I what I do you know, want to make clear is how many years it's taken for me to get to this point to where I'm not only aware of my time usage, but I'm moving in patterns that, that create productivity and not just, you know, a result 
that's not going to be appreciated by anyone, you know, and it's not, it's not going to move me forward towards my goal. So, you know, the reality of it is, is, you know, there are 8,760 hours in the average year. How are you going to use yours? So ask yourself that. I like to tell you, you know, thanks for joining us here today on Well. You know, please like and subscribe if you haven't to my channel, you know, to um, um, our Food by the Word um, um, YouTube channel. And just, you know, understand that we got more content coming, you know, a lot of different media and so forth. You know, Food by the Word um, Media Presents is going to be, you know, doing a lot in 2023. So just chime in with us. And thanks for joining us here on Well. God bless you. Talk to you later.